Hello and welcome. If you're watching this video, you want to get familiar with the look and feel of Talon Studio and grasp a general understanding of how to use some of the key functions and features. Although the Talon Data Integration Platform is comprised of several different components, which we'll cover in other videos, today we're just going to focus on the Studio's piece of the puzzle. Let's get started. When I first launch the Studio, I'm asked to select a connection and then either open or import an existing project or create a new one. I'll use an existing project for this brief intro video. It brings me to a welcome screen. I've already started a job, so let's open it from the latest items list. The first time I open Talon Studio, it offers to guide me through the program, highlighting key points. It also opens a demo project for you to play around with to get yourself familiar with the studio. If I ever need a refresher, I can reactivate the tour within the help dropdown. Let's build a new job flow to demonstrate how Talon Studio features work. Let's first take a look at the repository, where Talon Studio gathers data related to the technical items used to design jobs. It's here I can manage metadata, database connections, database tables, as well as columns, and jobs once I begin creating them. I've already brought in my source component metadata by dragging and dropping it into my design workspace in the middle here. The design workspace is where I lay out and design my jobs. Then I go to the right-hand side and view my component palette, containing different technical components used to build my jobs, grouped together in families. A component is a pre-configured connector used to perform a specific data integration operation. I can minimize the amounts of hand coding required to work on data from multiple sources. If I drill down, I can see all of the different connections to databases and applications. We will discuss these in further detail in later videos. Let's bring this Salesforce output component into the palette to create a target for my source content. Now I would need to connect these two components using something like a tmap, giving me the ability to map attributes between the source and the target. Click on the source, drag and drop, and connect to the tmap. Right click on the tmap, drag and drop over to the target, give the output a name, and once that's set up, double click on the tmap component to view the attributes of the metadata about the Salesforce connection that you have established are visible. Drag these attributes from the source on the left to make the connections. I now have a functioning process, or job, within the design window. View job details within the configuration tabs, which we will dive deeper into in later videos. Thank you for watching this video covering a brief overview of the studio. Please continue to watch this series, The Day in the Life of a DI Developer, for more demonstrations and information regarding Talon Studio.